Hello everyone. I am here to share with you the flip through of this journal. So this journal, um, I, it, I, I was finishing as part of a challenge. So Tracy Fox challenged us all to pick up something that we hadn't finished and finish it. And I put this down about a month ago. And so I'm finishing it. It is a ring bound journal and it is primarily made of um, the Stamperia Papers Arctic World, as is said right there. And I've also used craft text um, for the covers and through for a lot of the stuff inside. Um, the all the the edges all have this kind of this walnut colored craft text um, as the ring bound bits. And there is a craft text closure. So the closure. Um, well, so here's the back. The back has um, travel stickers that uh, were digital downloads from Etsy. I just searched uh, baggage stickers, I think, or travel stickers. And then it's got a strap, and the strap has some holes in it, and the holes, um, depending on how thin or thick it is, are just slide through the, slide over the hitch post, like that. Um, and there is a, a little removable tag in, in this book plate where the person can add their own title. So on the inside, and this is really gorgeous paper. I, I just adore this paper. I have a craft text flat pen um, and paper clip. And there is a pocket on the front cover. This is um, fabric. And then these are um, from a book. These are book pages that I have backed for journaling cards. So those slide in there. And then the flat pen just paper clips to those cards. And it's ready to go. This page here has a magnetic closure. This is a black Craftex um, material. And there are, so all, all this kind of colored paper in here is inked tracing paper and I use the Tim Holtz inks. I use both inks and oxides. Um, and these are tags that come from the paper pack. And these are words that come from the paper pack. And this is a tall tag for journaling. Um, and this also has some, um, oh, the um, heat embossed glitter on it. And these are both card um, embellishments from that go with the kit. And that slides in there. But then there's also a pocket on the back. And this has a journaling card from the kit as well. And that slides in there. Um, and this page unties. And there is a little um, porthole there and a pocket. Oh, no, this is not a pocket. I forgot. That's not a pocket. <laughs> That's just, oh, it is a pocket. I have to put a, I have to put a tag in there. Okay. Um, I'm going to put a tag in there. Forgot about that one. And then here are some more pockets that, with journaling cards and tags. In these pockets, these are library pockets. And then these both are pockets that have little um, bits from the kit in it in them as well. And then those close up like that. And then this, oh, and there's a journaling card on the back. And this is actually heat embossed with a Fibonacci sequence stamp. It continues on both pockets and you can see it there as well. And that stamp doesn't go with the kit, but it, um, I just got, I think got a essay. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous stamp. So then this wraps back around and ties closed like this. And then the next page is an ephemera folder. This is a, a Rachel from Roxy Creation style ephemera folder. And it unwinds that way. 
And there's a charm on the end that says, Love, Courage, Adventure. And this says Exploration. And in it, I've just stuck all of those little cardstock, or um, they're not called cardstock, they're thicker. They're very thick cardboard pieces that came with the kit that I didn't use. So whoever gets this can use them to embellish their journaling. And that just wraps around like that. And then this has a pocket here and it has the polar bear um, chipboard. That's what it's called, chipboard polar bear with the, the polar bear. This is a journaling card that I sewed onto gray craft text. And then this um, holds two journals. So you just undo the bow. And in here are two journals. Oops. <laughs> that got tangled. Okay, so here's one. This is the polar bear one, and it has charms on the spine. It, they both have fabric tabs so they won't get too squished. This has heat embossed embellishments behind the polar bear mama. And it has uh, a polar bear journaling card and a pocket. And there are some bird book pages and mostly unembellished um, pages for journaling in. And another tuck spot in, in the back. And this is the penguin one. This just has some fluff. Oops. Fluff on it um, to tie it together. And it also has a fabric tab. And same thing, it's got the journaling card and it has some book pages. Oh dear, I think I could sneeze. Oh, excuse me. Um, journaling pages and blank pages and some lots of, there's a bowhead whale. Um, this one, yeah, they are both three hole pamphlet stitched. And this one also has a journaling card in the back. I just love this paper pack. It is like my favorite Samperia pack ever. I'm just gonna retie this bow because it got pulled apart by the charm. <laughs> so, so fuzzy. Okay, and then these just slide into this gusseted pocket, craft text gusseted pocket. And the closures, you just tie that in a bow or however you'd like to tie it. And what I would suggest is um, taking out one of the journals and sticking it on a shelf somewhere somewhere and then using the other one until it's full and then switching them out. There's plenty of room for both, but it would probably just work better if you use one at a time. And then these are two more of those book page journaling cards tucked in the craft text spot in the back. And both those um, covers also have the protected corners. So when you close it up, you just squish it down and pop the strap on. And there you have a three ring, uh, two ring bound journal using Stamperia Arctic World. Thank you so much for the push. Bye-bye.